Listen to how much louder the song gets with the gold clip plugin. You're like the shadow. What? I still have the same amount of headroom as I did before I put the gold clip plugin on. That's mind blowing. What's up, bros arts? I know it's been a long time. I know I haven't been on YouTube for about a good year, year and a half, maybe two year break, but I'm back, baby. And today we are gonna be going through the new clipper from Schwab Digital called Gold Clip. Now this clipper is the best on the market as far as the VST goes. Let me explain why. Because it is modeled after the one and only sought out Lavery Gold converter. If you know, then you know. If you don't, well, you're about to learn. So let's get into it. Now we are in Logic Pro X and I am about to show you how to use Gold Clip. What Gold Clip is actually doing. Now, I'm not gonna explain what's going on under the hood per se. You guys can check out the manual. I'll leave a link in the description for the manual. It's pretty simple. I want you guys to get a good understanding of what's going on here just by listening. So I'm gonna hit play. I'm gonna play a sip of the song and then bypass it and show you the difference between the plugin being used and the plugin not being used. All right, here we go. You like the shadows on the moon. Yeah, I don't let it be. Why do you keep me in the dark? Like the shadows on the moon. You hide your heart. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to listen to it with it off. And then we'll get into the actual plugin and show you how to use it so you can get your tracks as loud as you can possibly get. You like the shadows on the moon. You hide your heart. Let it be. Why do you keep me in the dark? I don't think it, there needs to be any explanation. Um, it is clearly a lot louder. But let me show you something real quick. Watch what happens when I hit play. You like the shadows on the moon. What I'm noticing is we're at negative 7.2, right? Let's turn on the gold clip and see what that does. Quit a long time ago. Okay, do you, do you see what's going on here? It is peaking at the same exact volume whether I turn it off or on. Listen to how much louder the, the song gets with the gold clip plugin. Quit a long time ago. We got off. We got on. You like the shadows on the moon. You hide your heart. Let it be. Why do you keep me in the dark? <laughs> you like the shadow. What? That's mind blowing. So now I'm going to go through the plugin and we're going to go through each parameter and take a look and see what it does. And afterwards, and then we're going to be diving in and mixing with the plugin to see how loud we can actually get the song. So let's go into here. Let's start off with bypass. Okay, so bypass is, it says time aligned internal bypass. So that means that when you click bypass, it's not going to create like a, a clip. It's going to be a smooth bypass. So those are really important. All plugins should have that. All right, let's go down the line. And the next is the box tone. What this does is it applies a high frequency contour and a low pass filter to the wet signal. So there's three different tones. There's flat, there's classic, and modern. So we're gonna you know, mess with those uh, whenever we get into mixing this song. Next, there's clipper, which is the style of clipping applied at the clip ceiling. It's a clipper, it, it's, it does what it says. This next one is just a type of non-linear gain used for gold processing. I'm not sure exactly what that entails, but I know that it does make a difference between classic and modern, right? And also with these clippers, it says modern, hard, or classic, right? We'll keep everything on classic. And then now right here is the max clip. So it's maximum amount of clipping during playback. So this is going to show us how much the maximum amount of clipping is in the song. Right here, we have the minutes and the seconds, which is a timestamp of the maximum amount of clipping during playback. So this is going to show us the loudest part at what time the loudest part of the song is. And we can figure out our clipping and gain from there. Right here is your luff input, which is loudness units full scale. And this displays the short term luffs um, of the song, right? So... Let's see, and then now let's go up to here. This is going to display the maximum amount of clipping during playback. 
So whatever we got going on here for clipping, it's going to tell us up here how many decibels we're clipping. Right here, this is the ceiling. This is the level that clipping takes place. You essentially take this glass sliding knob here. It says displays input signal with input trim. So what we'd want to do with this in the ceiling is bring this up to an amount right before it's clipping and then introduce clipping through the ceiling. Now, this right here, this right here. Listen, the people over at Schwab Digital are insane. This is uh, really blew my mind when I first used it. I, I got accepted into beta testing this before it came out. So I had an opportunity a few months ago before anybody even heard about it. Now it's like one of the hottest things. It's like one of the most popular clippers. Plus it's like sought out. It's the most uh, talked about clipper on the market right now. So we're going to continue moving on right here. This is the link input and output trim in order to maintain perceived volumes. So yeah, what that does is it automatically links the input and the output. So if I go up, it's going to compensate by whatever I've turned up here. It's going to turn down there and compensate. Uh, right here, we got the alchemy, which reshapes the ascent and descent of peak signals. Mid and high frequencies are reduced as the signal approaches the clip point. So what this does, it just kind of brings up the mid and the high signal without bringing up the loudest points of that signal. So it adds a little bit of a sheen to your mix, right? And right here is obviously just the, uh, you know, the decibel meter showing us everything that we need to know with alchemy. Uh, right here is the peak. This shows the d displays the maximum peak of output or the maximum peak output after the mixer. So this is really important. You want to make sure that you are not clipping in this stage. Okay. Uh, and then here is the wet signal. And here is the dry signal. You can click on this wet dry link in order to get a blend in a good signal. Take it or leave it. You know, some people enjoy using it. Some people don't. Also, it's it's used for different applications. So, you know, if you're using vocals, you might want to do a little bit of blending. This is the difference between input and output. So, you know, I haven't really messed with that one yet. But and then here is your mute. So you mute your wet or you mute your dry. Let's see. I think we got pretty much everything covered in this gold clip uh, plugin right now. We're going to go into the project and I'm going to open a new gold clip right here. I'm going to start everything zeroed out, right? Flat tone, classic clipper, classic everything. The song I'm playing is uh, a song that, you know, we'll be, probably be releasing here soon with my friend Chris Gully. There's also a bunch of different presets that they have here for different mastering or mixing settings here with the gold clip but let's get started into the actual song and see how loud we can get this puppy you like the shadows on the moon you hide your heart let it be why do you keep me in the dark like the shadows on the moon you hide your heart I want to be able to read the meter a little better. So I'm going to double click right here twice and then switch it from six decibels to two so I can read it better. And then we're going to zero out the clipping and I want to bring in this input just before we clip. Okay, so right here is about a good point. I brought it up about 5.8 decibels. That's a lot, but you know, I had a, a pretty quiet mix. So now let me introduce one decibel of clipping. All right. You like the shadows on the moon You hide your heart Let it be, why do you keep me in the dark? And now let's bypass that, see what that sounds like. You like the shadows on the moon All right, so we're peaking at the same exact decibel level whether we have the plug-in on or off. That's crazy, and there's a significant difference in loudness. And that goes to show you that it's not about what you see on the decibel meter versus what you're hearing. It's called perceived loudness. Let's go ahead and mess with these tones and see if we can get a different tone shape. You like the shadows on the moon. You hide your heart. Let it be. Why do you keep me in the dark? Like the shadows on the moon. You hide your heart. I like the flat box tile, that's just my opinion. Now let's go ahead and mess with these clippers styles and see what we can come up with. You like the shadows on the moon. You hide your heart. Let it be. Why do you keep me in the dark? Alright, I like modern clipper style. Let's go ahead and mess with the gold parameter. You like the shadows on the moon. You hide your heart. 
let it be. Why do you keep me in the dark? I like the modern style. Um, it actually brings the vocals out a little bit more. So I have a great setting right here. I like this. I'm going to go with it. Let's go ahead and bypass it real quick. Quit a long time ago. You like the shadows on the moon. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce, this is why the plugin is so popular right here, this parameter. I'm going to introduce gold and watch what happens. Listen to what happens. You're going to hear a significant difference in loudness, but it's not going to be the loudest parts of the song. It's going to be the quieter parts are going to start getting louder without making the loudest parts of the song louder. You like the shadows on the moon. Let it be, why do you keep me in the dark? Like the shadows on the moon, you hide your heart. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm bringing in two decibels of gold, right? Now let's go ahead and introduce a little alchemy and see what that does. You like the shadows on the moon. Let it be, why do you keep me in the dark? Like the shadows on the moon, you hide your heart. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to introduce a half a decibel of alchemy. Now let's go ahead and bypass that and listen to it with and without the plug in and see the difference. You like the shadows on the moon, you hide your heart. Let it be, why do you keep me in the dark? Like the shadows on the moon, you hide your heart. Okay, now let's see if we, you know, made it louder without actually making the decibels louder. Quit a long time ago. Negative seven, two, there it is. All right, let's check it. Quit a long time ago. You like the shadows on the moon. You hide your heart. Crazy, crazy plugin. This is insane. I've never seen a plugin like this. I don't know what to do. I'm losing my mind. The Gold Clip plugin is a force to be reckoned with. I don't know any other clipper that can do this. Family over at Schwab Digital gave me a beta license so that way I could test out the plugin and give you guys feedback on what I think. So that's what I'm doing today. They are doing a full two week trial. It doesn't cut out the sound or anything like that. So it's a full two week trial. The price is pretty steep on it, but the plugin does it all. So, I mean, it's a very competitive plugin at a very competitive price, in my opinion. If you can't afford the price, they are offering a payment plan. So if you can handle 15, 20 bucks a month, hop on that opportunity as quick as possible because that seems to be the model nowadays is that subscription plan. So thank you guys. I'm glad to be back and look forward to more videos from me. Peace.